uh, thank you for interaction. Good morning, oh sorry, good evening. Uh, hello everybody, it's great to be here. Uh, I didn't understand exactly what you said about me because it was in Polish. So just what I want to remark is that I am not a lawyer but a teacher. So this will be a little different point of view but uh, the things will be similar or very similar. Okay, uh, I'm going to talk about the Alliance of uh, for Open Education, which is organization which sent me here. So I will talk about them, introduce it, and then talk about the Czech strategy, strategy for open education, which is mainly based or focused on open education. I will talk about priorities, uh, objectives, priority objectives, its vision and how it supports open educational resources. So, firstly, about the alliance. Uh, this alliance we have um, we have founded uh, last last year, but after a year of preparation. So now we can say that we are, it's all it's the third year of uh, working, and we have now about 80 members, uh, organizations, small organizations, big organizations, and also individuals. So, for example, you can see some logos of these. Uh, institutions we have uh, as a member Czech uh, television or you, you probably know Khan Academy so we have a Czech version of Khan Academy uh, this is non-governmental orga organization they translate videos from America and they are equipped them by uh, Czech subtitles which um, means that these uh, uh, these materials are very suitable in schools for using in education. Uh, for example, one of our members is Wikimedia, or, and you know their product Wikipedia, uh, teachers associations, etc. If uh, I have to talk about what the Open Alliance, Alliance for Open Education is doing, so I have to mention that it's a non-governmental organization. It means that it's based on volunteers. Uh, uh, Alliance is trying to promote open education to public, to teachers, educators, uh, parents, children. So uh, we are releasing press press releases. We are printing and publicating uh, publications, uh, organizing workshops, seminars for teachers, and uh, small conference, something like this, but on education mostly. Uh, and uh, the Alliance is also commenting the governmental plans uh, and documents which are focused on open governance or open education uh, and uh, one of this uh, of this document or strategy is the strategy for digital education until 2020 if i can show you some examples of what this uh, alliance did we can show these brochures or booklets the first one on the left uh, is called, or if I translate it into English, how to create educational materials accessible to all. Because it's, it seems that, or it can be said that it is easy, but it is not. If you want to public uh, something, what is uh, readable for and accessible for all people, also for people with some disability, or uh, it means also for robots, for programs uh, which can, uh, which need to read texts uh, for indexing and for some other purposes for artificial intelligence it must to fulfill some rules to follow some rules and uh, for example some uh, headlights must be sh must be marked as headlines and uh, these uh, rules are not very known in people who are working on this material so we are, this is the first uh, one example of uh, publication and the second one on the right side how to improve the quality of schools through open education in this brochure we tried it uh, we tried to define or over over override define what uh, the open what open education is and uh, as you can see here uh, it consists of three big areas open education resources and these resources could be small or assets i don't know 
picture, image, and also bigger parts as presentations, and uh, also uh, e-learning or, for example, MOOCs, massive open online courses. So this is the first part. Second one is open data, and the third is open access. And these topics were already mentioned in this, in this conference. Uh, so now I'm moving to st uh, Czech strategy for digital education. And these three uh, topics are priority objectives. And as you can see, the main or the first one is uh, open up ed opening up education, which means that we want to open education to new methods, to teaching methods and practice. Uh, techniques through using digital technologies. Uh, it uh, means not only to use modern ways of uh, pedagogy of education, but to use digital, edu digital technologies to spread uh, these new methods and modern education to many people. The second one is uh, the competence, abilities, abilities of students and, uh, of course, with working with information, critical thinking, processing with computers and working with digital technologies. And if we want to improve students' abilities, students' competences, we firstly have to focus on uh, teachers and educators. So it, it's connected together. And the third the third is uh, topics or priority objective is developing computational thinking among students, which is something special. It is not about coding or programming, but it is also about that. But we are trying to make a uh, young population to be cooperators of their digital equipment and environment, what is, what, what is around them, what is surrounding them. So we want not to be just co consumers, but co-creators of this, uh, of this surroundings. So there are many ways uh, which can develop uh, these uh, com competencies. Um, I mean, for example, some some new programs for teaching uh, computing, teaching programming, uh, analytical thinking, critical thinking, uh, to be able to find information and to recognize what is the reality and what is the uh, interpretation of the reality, which is very important. So this, this, uh, these were three priorities of the of the uh, of our strategy and what is the vision of the strategy it's written over there it's uh, based on uh, it's very general their their the vision is very general it's based on lifelong learning it's clear i think and it aims to create open environment which enable every man or every woman to continue learning through his or her uh, lives life equally and with no restrictions it is provided, the vision is, or the education, open education is provided not only by public but also private and non-profit sectors, which is very important because we have to cooperate, for example, with IT companies, IT firms. It can't be only on the public sector, but of course the state uh, has a great, great task in this process. Uh, open education provides access to shared educational resources and infrastructure. It means that we need broadband, internet broadband to everybody, to all schools, and real broadband, not just internet. And education system is permeate at all levels, which means that uh, it's very hard to, uh, to develop this, because uh, it means that, uh, for example, it's not necessary to stay in desk in school, but you can directly go to the final exam. You don't have to stay in school. Uh, and the last one, everyone, uh, regardless of her, his or her social economic background, can enter it at any time throughout the life, which means that it's not, it doesn't depend on his money or social economic situation. Uh, I can show you that uh, these, 
the three priorities of the strategy are in the center and I will not talk about all the seven interventions which are described over there. I, I mentioned just, just several of them. Uh, very important is uh, equal access to uh, digital resources and education, which I will talk later. And uh, it, for example, means that all materials which will be produced with uh, support of EU funds have to be accessed, have to be open for all people and have to be searchable, which means that we, we are preparing some special repository with metadata where all these uh, documents and outputs will be, uh, will be indexed. And a very important part of the strategy is this one, public understanding of the goals and processes of integration of digital technology into education. Because people usually do not understand why they should learn to use technology. They, because in, in the past it was not so important, but I think everybody knows that the importance is growing of this sector. So, what we did, uh, at, and now I mean at the Ministry, because I work as a, as a consultant for Ministry for this uh, strategy, s is that we uh, prepare this document, which is called uh, cr Quality Criteria on Digital Education Resources, which are funded from public budgets, and I mean especially e European Union funds. And this document defines what these, uh, these materials should consist of or what they should fulfill. Uh, we tried to use uh, Creative Commons, but it was not so easy to enforce this. So I, I can show more concretely uh, these, three, these three requirements which enforce open educational resources. So every, every material which will be produced and will be funded by EU funds should uh, be um, firstly must have must be under the copyright requir requirements which means that uh, pupils teachers and other educators uh, can use that material can remix it change it transform copy and redistribute the materials of course if you read, read it you probably are thinking about uh, creative commons but N uh, there can be more, more licensing. Technical requirements mean that these uh, digital resources are available on internet. Uh, users know about their existence, are able to find them and can use them. There are no obstacles, for example, to enter some password or to in enter some personal data, personal information. And the third one is a uh, requirement for correctness, uh, maybe for pedagogy and didactics, uh, which means that they must be in accordance with, for example, constitution of the Czech Republic. Uh, it is very, very similar to textbooks, which uh, have to be also right in this part of requirements. So it is all about digital strategy and if you have any comments you can ask my colleagues here from the Alliance for Open Education or me. Thank you for attention.